Hey everybody, I'm Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. So today I want to show you how to convert a color photograph to black and white and then to do some creative uh, contrast adjustments in the black and white photograph. And we're going to be using Affinity Photo to do this today. So to start off with, uh, it's actually really simple because we just need to go to the adjustment layer and uh, use this black and white filter. Now one thing I want you to notice real quickly. The sky is of course blue. There's some clouds up here and there's this red in the bricks and the foliage and leaves over here and the grass are green. Uh, so we're going to actually play with those colors and adjust the contrast in the black and white photograph we create. So we're going to click here on black and white. It gives us three different defaults uh, that we can use or three different profiles we can use. So we can start with a, like a default one or we can go with this one. It's called cold here, uh, but the contrast is different on it. And then we have one called warm and the, the contrast is, is really popped up. The sky is dark. The foliage is light on this one. We're going to go with the default one. Most uh, layer filters in uh, Affinity Photo ha give you some um, presets so that you can have something to start with. Uh, I usually go with the default and go from there on, on most of the uh, filters. So this this box popped up here, this window popped up here with all these different colors. And these are the colors that we can adjust. And you can kind of think of it similar to if you've ever taken black and white film before, you can put a filter on the lens when you're taking it and uh, certain filters will make the sky darker uh, or lighter and certain filters will make the foliage lighter and darker and so uh, what, what we're going to do here is we're going to start off and and we don't really have much definition in the clouds here but if we move this blue slider here we start to get definition in it we can also move the cyan and the blue because they both kind of add to it because the, the sky has a lot of cyan in it off in it, but it also has blue in it. So you can see that we've kind of darkened that and brought out the clouds. Uh, we can exaggerate that even more. We could go all the way over and really darken the sky if we wanted to. But let's just bring it back a little bit more. So the other thing we can do is the foliage over here. You remember this is green over towards this side. We can actually brighten it up if we want to or darken it using the green. And the more different colors that you have or any particular color that you have in the original color photograph, like if there was something yellow in your photograph, you could use a yellow filter. The yellow filter will also affect other colors like the foliage. So you can, you can mess with the filters depending uh, but generally, if you mess with the filter of the of something that's in that color, it's going to have the most dramatic effects. So we can actually darken the foliage with this too. There's a lot you can do with with uh, with the, each one of these filters. So let's, uh, if you recall, these bricks here are are reddish. So we're going to actually take the red uh, filter right here. We can actually make it go to what looks to be white or all the way down to black, which doesn't really look that great. But I'm showing you, I'm exaggerating some of the effects just to show you what they look like. But you can just change that these levels subtly to bring out certain things within the photo. And it's like you're reshooting it almost with a different filter. So you have a lot of control over it using this filter and using the colors. So that's how you convert a color picture into black and white using Infinity Photo and how you can creatively use these color sliders to change the contrast. This has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.